So you might be saying to yourself already, I thought we were supposed to belly breathe. I thought that was the way to relax and to take deeper breaths. Well, I'm going to show you today why diaphragmatic breathing is not belly breathing and how to take a proper diaphragmatic breath. So the first thing that I want you to become aware of is that when you focus on belly breathing, filling your belly with breath, it takes the spine, the lumbar spine into extension. So if I focus on breathing into my belly, it pulls my lumbar spine forward. And this isn't an optimal way to breathe. Instead, when we breathe diaphragmatically, we wanna focus on the rib cage, not the belly. Your lungs are in your rib cage. We wanna focus on the rib cage expanding in all directions. So thinking of the rib cage opening like an accordion and expanding front to back evenly. So to feel this first, we're gonna practice lying down on the back and then we're gonna practice doing it seated. Now this is very important because this is the foundation of everything. How you're breathing affects how you move. And if you want to learn advanced breath work, first you have to have a foundation of basic breath work and then we build on that. So start off lying down onto your back. You can have a cushion or pillow if you like. And you're just gonna let your shoulders, your neck and your hips all relax. So being able to let the shoulders drop into good posture, a good position so that there isn't, a, there isn't pressure on the front of the rib cage will help us take a full breath. So as you relax here, bring your hands to the sides of your ribs. Now, take a full breath in and feel your ribs expand into your hands. Try to expand evenly. And then when you exhale, let all of the air go out. And let your rib cage aim down towards your pelvis. Let the bottom of your pelvis aim towards your ankles. Again, breathe into the rib cage. And let it out. Just so you can feel the difference, put your hand on your belly and breathe into your belly and feel that it doesn't allow for that diaphragmatic movement. Okay. It's a good intention though of trying to draw the breath down instead of taking shallow breaths into the top. Now come to a seated position and we're going to do our breath work practice from seated today. So sit with your legs crossed and I recommend if you have tighter hips, taking enough lift underneath your hips so that your knees can drop down to hip height so they're not like this which is gonna pull your spine back and down. And then adjust your pelvis so that the pelvic floor is parallel with the floor. Bring your rib cage to balance over your pelvis so that you, the center of your respiratory diaphragm, which is the diaphragm that attaches at the bottom of the rib cage, the very center of the rib cage is aligned with the center of the bottom of the pelvis, the pelvic floor. Then bring your head up on top of that so the roof of your mouth is aligned with the center rib cage, center of the pelvic floor, and the crown of the head too. All of those diaphragms are lined up. And so this is a good position to breathe from. As you close your eyes, let all of there out through your nose. And practice breathing in through the nose and see if you can sense the side to side movement of the rib cage and the front to back, even expansion. So we're just gonna practice nose breathing, feeling the expansion As you breathe out, notice the feeling of everything moving back in and down. When you notice your mind wandering from observing the sensation of the breath, just come back to watching it. We're just going to practice for one more minute.
and let go of the controlled breathing. Open your eyes and just notice the effects. How does your body feel? Do you feel more calm? Now, if you feel like you're ready to do some more, you can try this next step with me. But if you already feel like that was just enough, just try and do that expansion of the ribs, that's fine. You can come back on another day. But otherwise, we're going to try to practice a slower count of breathing. We're going to try to practice breathing out for six seconds and breathing in for six seconds. And if you still feel really relaxed with that, you can try adding a little pause at the end. So let's give that a shot. Sit up tall with your eyes closed. Let all the air out. Breathe in for six seconds. And out. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in, expanding the rib cage. Bottom rib cage expands. Middle. Then top. Breathe out. Breathe in to the bottom rib cage. Expand middle. Expand top. And breathe out. Sit with your eyes closed for a moment just to observe the sensations now. And open your eyes. Thank you. Namaste. So we'll build on this foundation of breath work. And I'm going to recommend that if you have time before you practice over the next week, that you just do a little bit of centering with your breath work practice each morning before, if you're practicing in the morning, before you practice the video or whatever time of day you're practicing. And by doing this little centering practice and focusing on the breath, it will help us to be more in tune with the breath through the practice. Next week, I'll add some different techniques and layers of subtlety to the breathwork practice. Let me know how it went for you. Were you able to feel the sensation of the ribs expanding? All right. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow.